Well, here we are, booting up into Fedora. You'd think we're done, but, well, not really. We still have a few things to do to set up our installation. But we'll let it reboot. And uh, this gives you an idea of what it looks like booting up normally. I'm fast-forwarding really only to save a few seconds. It doesn't take long at all. But there are, as it says here, a few more steps. And we will click the forward button in the lower right hand corner and take those steps. Let's look at the license here. The compilation itself is under the GNU General Public License version 2. Some of the software has other licenses, but everything in here you're free to copy, modify, or redistribute. And that's great. So is setting the time. Hey, it's not 6 o'clock for me. It's more like um, about 12 o'clock, 12.40, you know? So uh, let's get there. Not 16, um, like 12, okay? That's what we want, 12 o'clock. 12.40, that is. Close enough, within a minute. Oh, network time protocol. That's a good thing to have. That way it'll keep itself set. That is, when it logs on, it'll look at the servers, the network time protocol servers, and it'll automatically adjust. It is a good thing. Now that blinking, especially, you know, after like a power outage or something that's a mess. Hardware profile. This is something you really should send to the developers so they know what kind of hardware people are using. I'm not going to because I'm doing this VMware thing. You should, and during real installs, I always do. Now it's time to create a user. My username is Rob Limo. Full name, Robin Miller. No, 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 no. Don't use my name on your computer. Use your own. Thank you. Password, not the same as the root password. We can create more users later, so this is not a big deal. But we need to have at least one for safe logins. And the chosen password it is too weak. Yeah, whatever. It's a demo install. If you get that notice, you might want to choose a password that has a punctuation mark or two in it. Something. Here we are. I'm going to be me. Click there. Instead of typing it in. Password. You know, the dots. And enter. And off we go. A second or two of blackness. And then we load our very own Fedora. At this point, we're ready to work or play, as the case may be. So let's um, have a look and see what kind of applications we have installed in those over 1,000 packages. Well, let's see here. Applications, accessories, archive manager, calculator, character map, dictionary, always good. Take screenshot. I use that a lot and the text editor. There are other text editors we can do later. Games. Oh, a nice selection. We can wait. I mean, uh, spend many happy hours. Graphics. Photo Manager. GIMP. Always good. Gthumb Image Viewer. Internet. Contacts and Email or Evolution. Firefox. The uh, Pigeon, the old gim game. Great. IP. Telephony. And, uh, of course, a BitTorrent client. Office. The calendar is Evolution. Presentation is impress part of OpenOffice.org. Project Manager is its own program and a mighty good one. Spreadsheet and the tasks thing, pretty much OpenOffice. Programming, well, DevHelp and Glade, which is a GUI thing. Some uh, music and movie players and some system tools. Good stuff. Now let's check these security updates they're talking about at us here. It's always good to have an updated and secure system. Note that we do not have to log out and log back in as root. We just authenticate for this program. This is much safer than the old way. Much better. Much more secure. And we do like security. Now that we're retrieving the software information, which takes a little bit, but it'll happen. Come along with that nice little Bach Cantata there. Okay, there's our available updates. Now we can just willy nilly apply them if we want. They're all chosen by the very smart, very concerned Fedora people. 
Um, but, you know, we're curious. So let's take a look and see what we're putting in some GIMP updates. Oh, I see some kernel updates in there. That's going to mean a reboot. Let's just go ahead and download the packages, which we're doing now. And there's one other thing. Import the key. This is the GNU public key from Fedora project. If we have this key on our server, or rather on our client, on our computer, and it matches the one at their server, it means that we almost certainly, virtually certain of getting our stuff from a safe right server, not from J Random Hacker. And this is a good thing because we're getting like safe official Fedora software. And now we apply the updates. So far we just downloaded them. And off we go. Resolving dependencies. Boy, I love this. I do so remember the days when this was a manual thing. Dependencies are added. Okay? And now what happens? Downloading not just the headers and stuff, but I guess the actual packages themselves. And this is one of those it happens kind of things that we don't have to um, pay much attention to and the updating the software oh yes it looks to me like we're just about done in fact it's time to reboot we could do it later but let's do it now get it out of the way <laughs> 